Okay, I'm Vern and today we're gonna cover how to use Automator on your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, any Mac that you have. How to use Automator application to create little application icons on your desktop that you can simply drag files to and change them. So today we're gonna change image files to be from large files to smaller files. And you can do this in bulk. So you could do 6,000 of them if you want to. You just simply select all those files, drag them and drop them right on the icon and it, it will shrink them down for you. Really nice. All right, let's go. Okay, here I am on my desktop. Today we're going to take a look at just simply changing photographic files, images, digital images from a regular JPEG of a certain size, a bigger size, to shrink it down to a smaller size. So you're gonna convert the size. Here's one of my JPEGs, it's, it's really quite huge. It's um, like 13 megabytes large, it's, it's a big file. So I shot that with my iPhone and I want to change it to be smaller to about, uh, let's say 1200 pixels. So you know, in preview, which is what we are in now, right? We can go here to tools, we can adjust size, we can say width 1200, and we can, uh, well, if this was, a, let's just say we can, we can change the, um, we can change the details here in preview. But if we do that for every single image, like if you have a, a folder full of images, it's going to take you a very long time. So that's what this tool is good for, this automator tool. And the way you find it is go to command space. It will let you search. Just start to type automator and choose it. And this is the application, the program that runs. It will help you to do this, these conversions really quickly. You can use a workflow, but then you have to open Auto Automator every time you use it. So I don't use that. I just use uh, application. So it will put a little icon on your desktop for your app. And then you simply drag your, your image files onto it in order to convert them. So I said application, double click. So it's going to make an application for me. Okay, so... It will help you over here if you want to do an application that has to do with mail, you can click mail and it will limit these options that you have that relate to these things, right? So we're not gonna do that, I just wanna, we're gonna stick with library here which lists all of them, all of the different uh, possibilities you can do with your app. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna look over here on the right, because it's an application it says application receives files and folders as input. So what that means is when you do see that little icon over here and you drag files to it, you drag files on top of it, the app already knows that it's gonna get the files and folders from you. You're going to select them either here or in Finder. You can open a Finder window and multiple select files. Uh, but however it happens, you're going to choose the files first. So it already knows that. So the next thing it's going to do is scale the image. So we look down here for scale or you can go up here and type scale. Scale images is perfect. Click it and drag it over and drop it or you could just double click it. Now it says this action will change the image files that, it, that are passed into it. Would you like to add a copy finder items action so the copies are changed and your originals are preserved. So, yeah, I would like that. I, I, don't want my, I don't want my originals to disappear. I wanna have a copy of them. So this is telling you it will add another section above your convert or your scale images so that, you, so that it'll do that for you. It'll make a copy for you. So I'm gonna say add. Now you can see it's a, it added this whole block up here copy finder items, it's gonna copy them to the desktop. I don't want them to the desktop, I would rather have them go to a new folder which I call copies. 
Uh, you can create a new folder here if you like and, and call it whatever you like. I'm going to choose copies. So now it'll copy the originals to there. Then it will take those, those files I gave it and it will go down here to the next section. The next section is scale images to a size or by percentage. Well, by percentage, it's hard to guess, you know, because your your images may be of different widths and heights, and you may not really know, you know, ah, I need 32%, you know, and it might change. Like, if you if you scale two different images by percentage, uh, and they are different sizes, then you will end up with different sizes. But probably when you're scaling images like this, when you're converting images, you want them all to be the same size. So I want them all to be the same width. So I'm going to say scale my images to size by pixels. And I'm going to say scale them to 600 pixels wide. This is wide, OK? This doesn't have anything to do with height. This is width. Just remember that. Now you have that done, you can click options here. And we want to see this whenever the program runs, we want to see this uh, little option pop up, because it's going to ask us if we can change this number, we need not make it 600 pixels every time we run this program. It's variable, we can choose uh, 2000, we can choose 10, we can choose whatever we like in this. So we do want to see this action pop up when it runs. So check that box. And we'll go to the next one. So, so the images are scaled. They have them there in the memory. Now we need to what? We need to move them. So up here you can type move. And we want to move the finder items. So we can drag that or just double click it. Either one works. It will move those finder items once they're changed to the desktop. We probably don't want it to go to the desktop, so we can choose another file, or folder rather. Uh, let's choose resized images. That's my folder. I'm going to move the, the new folders, the new files to. That's the folder I'm going to move the new files to. So I choose that, I look it over real quick, looks good. I do, I, the only box we want checked is here. You can also click options here and see this action when it runs. We don't want to do that. You can click this one and see this action when it runs. We don't really want to do that either. So it's good to go. Uh, the only thing to do now is save your application. We're going to save it, choose a name, I'll call it Resizer. Save, I saw it pop up uh, off my screen here. I'm going to drag it over here. This is our new app. It's a little automator guy that will let you know it's an automator app. We can downsize this. Here's my desktop. So here I have two JPEG files. And they are both bigger than 1200 uh, pixels now. You can drag one file and drop it on here, it will work. Or you can drag two or more files on there and it will work. So uh, we're going to draw a box around these two JPEGs. Drag them into onto this app and let it go. Resizer would like to access files in your desktop folder. So this is a security thing with Mac OS. Uh, you'll probably get this. Uh, just say OK. Good, it's asking me, how, how large do you want to scale your images to? And really, I just want to keep 600. It keeps that as a default because I put that number in there as we created the app. And so we'll just leave it as that. You can change it to whatever you want. It will ask this each time. Choose Continue. Hopefully it works. <laughs> and it will create resized images of these two files. If I open this resized images, here's the resized files. They also shrunk in size dramatically. 
This one, for instance, is 447. Where's that at? This one. So if I choose, if I right click and say get info, this file used to be 331 kilobytes. Now it's only 93. So now I can put it on the internet, right? I can put it on the website and it will be fine. 93 is uh, a medium sized file for, for images. And for a 600 uh, pixel image, it's pretty good. I wouldn't really post this on the internet. Look at all this trash here. <laughs> This is in Thailand, so uh, quite a bit of trash on the road, on the beach. And here's the other one. It's also 600, and it looks good. So that is how we do this. Uh, it isn't very difficult, and you always have this file or this app here anytime you want to use it. If you want to make it really quick, you could choose. Over here, you could choose not to show this action every time, so it won't ask you anything. It just does it all automatically, and you want to always have them at 600. So what you can do is you can make this app uh, run only at 600. So I'm going to rename that Resizer 600. That way I know it's always going to make those files into 600 pixels wide. I could change this to 1,000. Then I could go up here and create a new one, right? Duplicate it and create a new app that is resizer-1000. Uh, that way, and I can, un I'm sorry, and I need to un uncheck those. So that way I never see this uh, choice. It just does it automatically, right? So you can do it that way. You can have multiple uh, apps, app buttons. One says 600, one says 1,000, one says 3,000, whatever. And then just choose where to drop your images in order to change them. Okay? So that's how you do that. Uh, I will do another video on how to not only resize the images, but change them from uh, a different file format. So there are image, lots of different image uh, formats, right? Here's a couple uh, files from my Samsung phone, which died recently. Uh, it saved files in the HEIC format. So my next video will show you how to change image files. You can change the size of them. So these are larger than 600. I can change to 600 and at the same time it will change these to JPEG files. It will also save a copy of these uh, so that I have the originals. Okay? Alright, I hope that helps. Cheers.